Welcome back guys to the EAFC Road to Glory for Crystal Palace. We are nearly at the end guys. Today we have three matches. So we have the Champions League matches that we're going to cover against Real Madrid in the semi-final. And then we also have FC Bournemouth. Let's go here Eagles. <sighs> Starting off with Real Madrid. I can tell this is going to be a tough game. But looking at their formation, we play with a lot of width. If they're going to play a narrow diamond, I can see us having some joy. And also having some control as we stretch the game to be honest. Um, a, a diamond might actually work in our favour. Might have to just watch Darwin, Rodrigo and Bellingham's pace. But if they're going to play a diamond, I think we can actually get the fa a favourable result in this one because that is pro we're probably playing the counter to that position, um, to that formation, sorry. Um, only change really brought Elise back as well as Guayhi. And I'm not sure how Edward got injured. Uh, maybe pulled something in the previous game and in training this morning but yeah he was feeling a little bit of tightness in his calf so brought Cruz in, Cruz in huge match for him <laughs> always hyping him up but you know he's young um, I believe he has all the right attributes to be great so let's go Eagles this is when it really gets tense only four teams remain in the biggest club competition in the world and we're not far away from kickoff in the first leg Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live from the Bernabeu here on EA TV. Out on the players here in the Spanish capital of Madrid, we're at the Bernabeu. I'm Derek Ray, and sharing commentary with me as usual is Stuart Robson. And now things get really exciting on the UEFA Champions League front. We're at the semi final stage, and what we have coming up is the first leg. It's Real Madrid up against Crystal Palace. Well, this is what the Champions League is all about. Some of the world's best players, two excellent teams and a great stadium. Let's hope we're not disappointed. Well, they keep passing away. Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. Cruz and Palace finding space on the flank must be and there it is the first goal of the semi-final a huge moment extraordinary scenes well here it is again and what a perfect cross into the box this just inviting someone to attack it and the strike could not get any better he hits through the back of the ball with such power what a goal this is Silva Erwin Nunez comfortable in dealing with the ball played in Rodrigo, it might be, and pushed away to safety. A Real corner there. Gomez, good looking sequence. Textbook defending inside the box. Rodrigo, Camavinga, and now Rodrigo. The fans are shouting, shoot! That's a good pass. And it's in! Beyond the goalkeeper, Real Madrid on level! Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes... And Real Madrid have it back now. Darwin Nunez. And passing it through. And that was goalkeeping right out of the... Eduardo Camavinga. And a fine stop. <laughs> Who's going to get on the end of it? It might still be problematic. Militao. Crucial piece of defending. 
Gomez. And Palace could be onto something. Can they forge ahead? Well, they would have done. Eder Militao. And Bellingham. Can they take the lead here? Oh, a tremendous reflex. Class save, I have to say. Could still be dangerous. And so near on the volley. Boy. Well, making considerable progress with the ball. He's got to score. Palms away by the keeper. Into this game with that goal. Because up to that point, they hadn't played particularly well. Oh, Stuart, they could be in here. Spectacular save. Top class goalkeeping. Cruz. Just have to make sure they don't get caught on the counter attack. Can he put them in front? Yes, is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. Well, that's a wonderful counter-attacking goal. Just look at the speed of the attack and, of course, a good finish to match. Great bit of play. Now, Rodrigo. Distributing it well. And trouble is brewing. And he could cash in. Just a quick reminder, we have more action from the Premier League coming your way. It's Crystal Palace facing Bournemouth. Shot attempted. Brilliant save. At this stage, I wanted to try something a bit different. So I brought on Raksaki on the left as well as Indri on the right. Then I pushed Elise up front because Cruz and Gomez was feeling a bit fatigued. Very rare indeed. Three substitutes coming on at the same time. Trying to pick out a teammate. Can they cover up? Marvellous anticipation. And the referee has awarded a corner following that touch. Rodrigo. Real Madrid sloppy in possession. Perhaps they can counter from here. Chances on. And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. And the referee blows a whistle. That is the end of the contest. And a fine result for the away fans. And if they can repeat this sort of performance on home soil, then they will surely be going through. Well, it's a great performance, wasn't it? You could see the game plan from the Let's go! Olise came back with a bang. Oh my days, he came through clutch. His first goal was fantastic. The way he kept his eye on the ball and really controlled that volley after that fantastic cross from Gomez. Oh man, 3 1. You know what? In the first half, um, they really nullified our threat. But moving into the second half, I feel that we stretched the game really well and they started to feel it in their legs because they slowed down just that bit for us to gain the momentum in the match and pull away great performance and crew scored a fantastic curling effort pulling away from their tight defense and oh, oh, i can't complain that's the type of performance we want to see from the guys that's the type of performance we want to see so just like with arsenal that gives us a bit of breathing room to really take our time in the next leg and that's exactly what we're going to do <laughs> we're going to keep it tight and try to suffocate the game out of real madrid Oh damn, another injury concern. So we lose Mark Guayhi for five days and see the confirmation that Edward is also injured. So I guess um, Edward already was set out against Madrid. Guayhi is probably going to miss our next match against Bournemouth um, and then come back for the return leg 
in the Champions League. Or least, of course, you had to play, bro. That takes us into Bournemouth. So, as I mentioned, we got Richards there as a centre back pairing with Bayer. Um, and we've also got Cruz up top as Edward continues his rehabilitation. And hopefully, Edward is back for the second leg against Real Madrid. Come on, Eagles. What a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week, and we're just moments from kickoff. All the action coming live. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? And he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reached. The league in goals for the best attack in the league statistically. Well, their forward should be. Oh, Stewart, opportunity here. Oh, good save. Ezzy. Can he put them in front? And danger still. And able to get a body in the way. And held by the keeper at the second time of ask. Ruiz. Might be a chance here. Oh, the crossbar is still reverberating. And he's broken free. And a fine stop to turn the ball away. Oh, big chance. In it goes. The goal for 1-0. And that changes the dynamic. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. Could play it in. Can he finish? They just couldn't stay in front. And now, this match is all square. Well, let's take another look, and it's a very good goal. And they deserve it, you have to say. They've been excellent. Could be dangerous. Will he shoot? The fans hope so. Well, when the fans want you to shoot, it's always tempting to do so. Good work from Bournemouth to win it back. A real opening now. Not out of the woods yet. Bought in injury. Things just wasn't working. Bought in injury on the left-hand side. Really tough match. Um, also bought in Franca as a centre attacking midfielder. Um, and also Raxacchino on the right-hand side. Well, the decision they have made is to make a triple substitution. It's Bournemouth facing West Ham United. Encouraging move from Crystal Palace. Can they forge ahead? Well, they would have done had it not. He has time to play it over. Well, the keeper certainly didn't want to gamble with that. And a corner to cut it out. Five minutes of the 90 still to go. And the teams cannot be separated. Trying to get onto the front foot with the minutes ticking away. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Well, it petered out. Beautifully weighted ball. Aarons. He read the situation defensively and did his job. And if you're wondering about added time, two minutes it'll be. A real opening now. Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, and the timing of the run is just as good. As for the finish, it was never in doubt.
And full time here, and the story is one of job done by Crystal Palace. What did you think of it? Well, Derek, it was a really tight game, but they were the better side. Yes, what a tight game indeed, but we came through. We came through and we did it, guys. Oh, my days, we're buzzing with that. Injury came through clutch. You know, the regen of Wilfred Zaha. Wilfred Zaha may let you guys down, but Arsene and Dree is here to stay and he is your new Ivory Coast hero. Arsene and Dree, well done. Thanks for the three points. Let's go, you Eagles. Here we go. <laughs> oh, that was a tough game, but we always go to the end. Arsenal won as well, so, you know, we can't let up. Absolutely cannot let up. Moving on to Real Madrid. The diamond really works in our favour, so I'm not really bothered there. We have a two goal advantage in this one. And we bring back Guayhi and Edouard, who were rested in the last two games because of their injury. So we're actually stronger than the first leg. Let's go, Eagles. Let's get into the Champions League final. This is when it really hits home. Kickoff time is almost upon us. A colossal game featuring two teams that truly deserve to be on the big stage. We know they can deliver, but will they do it with the pressure on and when it matters most? Keep it right here for live coverage on EA TV. Be interesting though. Moving the ball really well here. Good ball to switch the play. And that's an important intervention. And Real's creative tendencies coming to the fore. Well, that's common sense refereeing to play advantage. Rodrigo firing it towards goal. Magnificent defending. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Stewart, in particular, what do you expect to see from him? Well, Derek, what confidence he's playing with at the moment. Second top scorer in the competition, and I expect him to have more impact again today. Oh, hang on, Stewart, it's a chance. And a goal! That will do it. They've been pushing for it, and now they've been rewarded. Well, just look at the defending here. The keeper is left totally exposed. It's an easy goal in the end, but well taken. Makes his way in field. Tyrick Mitchell. Not really the ideal clearance. Threat over for now, it seems. They're not giving him any breathing room. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. And the yellow card for that, Stuart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. Find us for more live Premier League action on EA TV. It's Crystal Palace taking on Newcastle United. Brilliantly blocked. Well, did well to make the challenge, but a corner coming up now. They will now make use of their substitutes bench. Good ball to switch the play. Uehi. Precise ball movement. Can he take the chance? And the keeper making sure that there were no scraps. And the cross didn't beat the first man. Delightful pass. Decent position. 
And he could be in proper trouble here. Oh, a smart stop. They take it short. Decides to shoot. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. And the referee's whistle. The home fans are thrilled because they can now book their tickets for the final. Well, those celebrations will be going on for a long time now because they know just how good they've been over the two legs. Wow, we actually did it, guys. We actually made it to the Champions League final. Massive respect to Real Madrid. Have all the respect for what they've done in the Champions League, the most decorated side in the competition. But this is a new era and Crystal Palace are here to stay. We are on the big stage, guys. Gomez scored that fantastic goal to open up the scoring and we just really held out and suffocated them. <laughs> and it looks like we're going to play Leipzig. No disrespect to Leipzig. Um, after the run that we've had against Madrid, Arsenal, Liverpool. Actually, I can't remember we played Liverpool, but we definitely played Juventus in the last 16. This, could def this, this most definitely should be our year. We should get the right result in the final. And we are looking forward to it. We are amped. The players are buzzing. And we are looking forward to bringing home this treble. Let's go, you Eagles. Eagles never die. Everyone has pulled together and done their bit. And we are looking forward to a fantastic season end. Whew! As you already know, we had a four-point gap in the Premier League with only three games to go now, guys. So only nine points left. So in theory, if we get a win and a draw in our final two matches then we will be crowned champions in the champions league leipzig are coming on the 6th of june we need all the fan support behind us for us to bring it home as we chase this treble and in the fa cup we have to play manchester city on the 30th of may it's going to be a crazy couple episodes as we wrap up this season but I've been, I believe in the lads. We've done very well to get to this point. And um, we're going from strength to strength. Gwehi, Henderson, Bayer even came in and did well. Danilo has revolutionised our midfield. Um, Eduard, Eza, Gomez stepped up this season. Indri had some important goals. And Decore, fantastic season as well. Guys, I think we are definitely in a great position to bring home this treble. Only four points between us and Arsenal. So we really can't take our eye off the ball. Man, I think Man City are probably out of here at this point. But, you know, all to play for still. All to play for. Have to keep 100% focused. What do you guys think about the episode? Let me know down below. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Peace.